Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the big game at Aberdeen versus Rangers. It is a quite bleak day in the northeast of Scotland, but that's not going to dampen my spirits as I'm hoping Aberdeen can get three points today. It'll be a massive three points to help us pull the league over hearts. Of course, last time we played against Rangers, it was, well, I'm showing you some of the clips from the most recent games against Rangers. The semi final, where we got beat 2 1. Game at Batorja, we got B3 2, and it's really just it was a mix of emotions um, in those days, uh, in, in those games, sorry. But honestly, I'm hoping today we can, well, I can hopefully feel some good emotions and we can maybe get three points. I'm not going to say a prediction in case I jinx it because obviously in previous match day vlogs I've not given a prediction and it's actually worked out and I've been winning. So I'm going to try my luck at it again today because if I do, if I feel like. I feel like if I do say a prediction, we might end up um, losing or it might be the complete opposite. But anyway, I hope you guys do enjoy this match day vlog and I will see you guys when I'm inside Pataudry.
that eventful first half, of course, and this year with his usual half of reaction. Um, it could have been worse. Obviously, the refs have been absolutely atrocious, giving so many free kicks. And um, I just love the full ball. Oh, for goodness sake, great full ball. Anyway, um, it could oh, again, it could have been worse. The refs been shocking. I bet he's going to get, oh, I bet the ref's going to give a pen second half. Um, we've done all right, we've had a few chances, but we need to create, we need to create even more second half. Hopefully we can get a goal at this end so we can celebrate and get the red shed getting some pyros out. Full time prediction, I'm going for a 1-0 Aberdeen again, Duke will get a goal. We are 2 0 up to Rangers. Mursi has a brilliant header. I thought he scored today and he has. We are 2 0 up against Rangers and I am going. Oh, I've lost my voice. I can't believe it. Yes! Well, that's it. It's a VR check. The goal might get disallowed, so well, we, we're 2 0 up for now, but hopefully Barr won't disallow the goal. I can see why it's a VR check. I think it might be a check from Mursi being upside. But. The whole red shed is bouncing. It's mental. What a day. It's probably going to be about seven minutes injury time again. It's 
been a lot of subs, a lot of injuries. If my heart won't stop beating. Please, just please, please. Please, we have to win this, come on. Eight minutes added on. Eight minutes added on. Please, just please, just please. Come on. Honestly, I am so, so happy right now that I genuinely, I, I don't, I don't really know what to do in this, in this outro, except from just screaming ball, saying come on Aberdeen, but I'm not going to do that because, well, I might annoy my mum, so I might get told off my mum, so, but, 
<coughs> I've lost my voice. <coughs> I'm all the shouting. I've just... I'm trying to... I'm struggling to find the words to describe the game because... I said at the start of the season, I don't care how or when, as long as we beat one of the old firm, I'd be happy. And we've done exactly that. That is payback and revenge for what they did. Um, for what they did to us at Petorgen when they beat us 3-2. They got their Fergie time and they won. I get at Hamden when Stuart ruined it all. That's payback. That's what you get for what you've done in the past, Rangers. And I don't care what you Rangers fans say. Aberdeen were the better team. And Mike, I mean, I, I probably, I don't want to rant, and I don't want to rant too much. But I do, Michael Beale's post-match interview, he said Rangers were the better team. And I completely disagree with that. Rangers, I'm not saying Rangers, Rangers did not play poor. In the second half, we dominated them. First half, it was a very even game. I thought Rangers played really well in the first half. Second half, they still played well, but they weren't at the level of us. Liam Scales, oh my God. I mean, he'll, he'll probably say he meant that, but there's no way he did. And then Clarkson, what a ball into the box from Miofsky. And then he just easily headed it past McGregor. That is the moments that I want. That's why I'm an Aberdeen fan. There's, there's so many ups and downs. But that is probably one of the biggest ups I will ever have in my lifetime for Aberdeen. My first, it's my first time watching Aberdeen beat Rangers at Petardry because I wasn't at uh, the game where James Madison scored the free kick. But we didn't need him today. Ruse is an absolute legend. S that save he made, I don't, I don't think I got it on camera, but one, one of the saves he made was absolutely outstanding. He has saved us so many times. And I'm so thankful for him. Barry Robson, I generally think we should give him the job now. He has done so well. He's transformed the club. And we're back five points ahead of Hearts going into the split. So I hope you guys did enjoy this match day vlog. Please do like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon for the next video on my channel.